Hello, and welcome back to Kickstart My, a crowdfunding podcast. Today, I talked with Zach from Blue Moon issue number one on Kickstarter. Zach has a Kickstarter for $5,500, and he has 23 days to go. During my conversation with Zach, we talked about his comic, some of his other written works, and why kaiju monsters are just so damn awesome. So listen to the interview and then check them out by going to kickstarter.com and searching Blue Moon issue number one, take two, or by following the link in our description. And now, on to the episode. Hello, and welcome to Kickstart My, the Kickstarter podcast, Um, crowdfunding podcast. Sorry about that. I'm your host, Sam Harper, and this, today, we are meeting with Zach Cole of Blue Moon. How are you doing, Zach? Hello, I'm doing all right. Uh, how how was your day so far? It's been okay. Uh, my son, I have a newborn son, so it's been a little hectic lately. I understand that. Well, I don't have any kids of my own, but I understand hectic. Yeah. When my sister was oh, born, yeah. just hectic, hectic. Oh, yeah. So, uh, let's just dive right into it. Can you tell us okay. a little bit about the story? Uh, story is about uh, Jeremy Walker. He uh, is attacked, but he and his girlfriend are attacked by a werewolf, and uh, his girlfriend's killed. Um, and then he, the first, um, well, I'm not gonna get into that, I guess. But like the, f- so basically, he just goes on a hunt for that werewolf. Okay. Um, and he counters like different monsters along the way and yeah it's it's inspired by the show supernatural if you ever seen that oh no i'm a huge fan of it oh yeah i that was a big inspiration for uh uh this series so it's a more of a revenge kind of thing uh, well the first half is cool uh what made you think that this was the time to tell this story. I mean, I know you've already written the story. Can you tell some people about that? Um, yeah, I wrote it a while ago, but like it was very early in my writing career and I just wanted to redo it. And it was originally going to be a uh, graphic novel series. So it's kind of fun just to get back into that, get it back to that format. Are you a fan of graphic novel series as a whole or is it just something that you just knew that had to be used? As a, as a graphic like, I like comics and art, and I used to draw comics when I was a kid. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite comic, by the way? Probably Project Nemesis. Um, That's the one. Yeah, I, not familiar, unfortunately. I have heard the name, though. It's based on a novel, a novel from uh, Jerry Robinson. Okay, cool. Uh, can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, um, it's it's a kaiju story. Um, there's this monster called Nemesis. She's born from the DNA of some ancient monster that was found and uh, a little girl that was murdered by her father. And she, it's basically a revenge story, so. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm noticing a revenge theme in some of the stuff. Yeah, I suppose I didn't really put that together subconsciously. I suppose I did that. That's fine. Uh, you know, a lot of things come together when you when you're subconscious and comes out in art. So, oh yeah. Speaking of art, uh, how is the creation process for this? Um, like. It's pretty good. It's pretty cool, honestly, seeing it come to life from the page to the to storyboards to um, uh, like final art. Um, we started with another group before this, so it's some of that's just going to be recreated in the new style. Um, but it's been pretty cool. Like, do you have any specifics you want to know? Well, no, I mean, in, as a, as a, I guess in general, how would you say the creation process is? Like, from, I have this thought, 
for this character and this this story that I want to tell to I have a graphic novel that I want to show to the world. I'm pretty loose with like the way things are. Sometimes they don't turn out the way I th- I think of them, but they turn out better somehow. So I'm pretty I'm not like too picky, I guess, about how things should look. But they look they turned out pretty cool though. Well, the art looked pretty cool, so. Oh yeah, I like that we went with a more uh, horror manga style. Yeah, I'm a big fan of horror, and like I love horror comics. Uh, something that's coming to children is current is one of my current favorites. So I, when I saw this, I was just like, I, I gotta look more into. It. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm definitely inspired by anime with some of this stuff. Oh, you could tell. There's, there's oh, a yeah. bit of an anime feel to it. Yeah, and that's what I wanted the first time. They did more of a, the my previous artist, they did a, more of a just like horror comic style. Um, but this one, um, I found them when I was doing the sequel series because I thought, oh, the other one's in the works. So I'll try and start on another one. <laughs> Sometimes things but, work out that way. So. Yeah, but I'm glad that we're going back to Blue Moon so we can get more consistency. Cool. Uh, so, any plans to adapt any of the previous stories? Um, yeah, like Blue Moon is just the start of what I have planned, really. Oh, can you elaborate more? Is it kind of um, my second series that I want to do is Kaiju Epoch, which basically takes um, Blue Moon is more of a a like a a small scale story compared to that one. So, as the name implies, there's kaiju and a bunch of other stuff. Um, And it's a lot different than, it's going to be a lot different than the novels that I wrote. So, if you had to say you would, I mean, it's fair to say that you're a kaiju fan, yeah? Oh, yeah, a big kaiju fan. Uh, Out of the recent movies that's been coming out, what are your thoughts on, like, you know, Godzilla versus King Kong and, like, Pacific Rim and all that stuff? I love Pacific Rim, the first one. The second one was all right. Um, like the monster verse has been pretty cool. I like the monster stuff. I think they could do a little better with the human stuff, but I've, yeah, I've been a big fan of what's coming out so far. Cool. If you could have a crossover, what would you have? Uh, like I know the big ones, Godzilla and Gamera. Uh, yeah, I would love Gamera to come back. He's been gone far too long. <laughs> and here I was thinking of just having the Pacific Rim robots and um, Jaegers fighting against Godzilla. That would be cool too. That was my second pick. Oh, okay. Cool. So, uh, let's get a little more personal. What started you as a writer? Uh, well, Project Nemesis. Um, I read that and I was like, hey, I want to make my own kaiju story. Uh, so I wrote Suchi Gumo. Uh, and yeah, that's where I went from. I went from there. Okay. That was back in 2015. Oh, so it was very, I mean, relatively recent. Yeah. Uh, and you said you drew before, like you drew comics before. What got you started in art? Godzilla. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. When did you start calling yourself? A writer. When did you sit down and you're like, okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm a writer. Probably after Suchi Gumo released, and it was pretty positive, positive, uh, like got positive reviews and stuff. Cool. Um, so, what was the what was your favorite thing to work on? Hmm. I I really love my Jeremy Walker series. Um, I'm on the final book uh, that I'll probably ever write. Maybe not ever, but for a while at least. So I, I like that series and wrapping it up has been fun. How many books is it going to be? Five. Cool. Nice. Yeah. And this, this one, there's a few books that are still, I'm still like getting edited and stuff like that. But like, this last one's going to be a crossover between all of my books that I've written. Ooh. 
Yeah. I well, even have a Pacific Rim style book uh, that's coming out too. I love crossovers. Yeah. Crossovers are so fun. Yes. What's the hardest thing that you have to work on? I don't know. Well, there was a story that I tried to write involving the Titanic, and it just didn't work out well because, you know, period pieces are just hard to write because you don't know everything about them. Like, As in, like, like the, t- the Titanic Titanic? Like, the unsinkable yeah. ship that's you know, sunk by the iceberg? Yeah, in this one, it was supposed to be sunk by a monster. Oh, okay. I can see that. So maybe I'll, I'll, I need to go back to that and try and, I know my uh, publisher wants to try and fix that one up. I can see that being on a television show. <laughs> it would be so cool. It's like that, there's a Dark Horse comic where Godzilla sunk the Titanic. It's so fun. Oh, seriously? Hmm. Uh, yeah. That one out. I just recently um, read the, I think it's a 50 year war. Or oh, oh yeah, that, that one's good. I just finished that, uh, I think, maybe like last month. Oh, Half Century. Yes, Half Half Century Century War. Yes. Finished that. It was so good. I I really loved it. I don't know if you've read it, but Rulers of Earth is really good. I'll add that to my list. Oh, yeah. It's like their main, the third in their main continuity. Uh, Because they have Godzilla. um, I have it over here. What is that? Kingdom of Monsters. And then they have Godzilla World's or yeah, World's Greatest Monster and then it's Rulers of Earth. Yeah, I'm actually I wasn't super versed in the whole Godzilla comics. I, I read I've watched a lot of the movies, but uh around when Godzilla vs. King Kong was coming out and everyone was having that up, somebody suggested Half Century War Online. And it looked interesting and then I had it on uh yeah, I had it on uh, Comicsology Unlimited, so I just read it and I loved it. It was so good. Oh, yeah. Half Century of War is good. I need to go back and revisit that one. Uh, but, like, the one I do go back to the most of is Rulers of Earth. It's so good. I have to check that out next. Oh, yeah. So, I have a guess, but what's your favorite fictional character? Probably Nemesis. I guess. Uh, fav- yeah. Favorite writer and artist? Uh, Jeremy Walk, uh, Jeremy Robinson, sorry, is my favorite writer. Um, and artist is probably Matt Frank. Huh. Cool. Uh, and if you could write any mainstream comic, what would you love to take a uh, shot at? Or mainstream character, TV, uh, team, whatever. Probably Godzilla. It'd be fun to do something like with what first inspired me to do everything. You know, I don't really have any ideas, but if I was asked to, I'd probably come up with some pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, don't want to let that opportunity go. Yeah. Okay. So in regards to your Kickstarter, what's next? Um, well, if this one's successful issue two, uh, there's, I have six issues planned for the first series. Uh, and then, like I mentioned before, Kaiju Epoch, like I have like six issues planned for three series so far. I have them written. Okay. Uh, any other, uh, any current collaborations with anyone else? Any of the, uh, any other writers or artists? Um, I'm working on a commission. I mean, I'm not working on it, but me and a friend are getting a commission done, uh, He's the uh, write, writer of Primal Warrior Dracula Azul, which is another cool robot comic. Uh, so I'm going to be on his podcast, too, um, to talk about stuff. Cool. Uh, we'll put a link below in the bio if you guys want to check that podcast out. Yeah, it's not out yet, but <laughs> I mean, who knows by the time this is out. Who knows? Uh, any spoilers for future content? Lots of monsters. <laughs> uh, I don't really think that's a spoiler, buddy. Okay. No, no, it's not a spoiler. I don't, I don't know what I could say for spoilers. Uh, I don't like spoilers. <laughs> that's a good enough, uh, that's a good sign off on that. 
Uh, anything else you want to say to the fans and other listeners out there? Uh, just, I really appreciate if you guys help me out uh, and get this project funded, and so we can move forward with more. All right. Well, it was nice talking to you. Uh, is it? Uh, is and um, I hope that your Kickstarter goes well, and we hope we get to see more of Blue Moon and more of uh, Kaiju Epoch and more of your other works in the future. Thanks. I hope so too, man. It's it's pretty exciting stuff. Like, I mean, yeah, it's just exciting stuff. Cool, cool. All right then. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning. These ladies know that I'm sinning, and this is just the beginning. I'm closing in the night, getting there ain't no point in resisting. Living life like a dream, big big